Okay guys, so again, I decided to do an impromptu uh, day of eating video. I haven't done any day of eating videos. I've done recipe videos, none of which have been posted because they all got deleted before I could post them. But um, I haven't done any day of eating videos. Um, so for me, I generally fast, not really intentionally. It's just I don't have a really huge appetite. Um, whereas Caleb eats like yeah, two, three times as much as I do. Um, I thought that would be good to actually include him in the day of eating video because that way people can see what he's eating as a kid on keto who doesn't actually need to lose weight, it's just for health. Um, so obviously he doesn't need to restrict calories and stuff like that as much as I do. If anything, he quite needs them. So. Um, I didn't include him for breakfast because it's a huge job getting ready for school in the morning as it is without stopping to do a video. Um, but he has generally scrambled eggs most days, that's what he had this morning. Um, we make them with just the eggs, cream, salt and pepper and then cook it in butter in the pan. Um, so for me, when I get up in the morning, the last thing I want to do is eat. I, I'm one of those people that I just can't even stomach like looking at food really first thing in the morning. So um, I usually don't have anything until at least eight or nine o'clock. Um, and if I have something, it's usually just a coffee or I just have water. I don't really eat anything. Um, so today um, I did have a coffee. I made a hot coffee. Usually I've been having iced coffees lately because it's been hot, but um, it was a little bit cooler today. So I made this coffee and it gave me a chance to use this uh, coffee creamer that I was given. I'll show you here. So a lot of, I have seen a lot of people asking about coffee creamers in Australia because I know there's quite a lot of keto ones, I think in the US, but not so many in Australia. This is an Australian available one, um, and this is a cacao flavor. There's also um, vanilla, which I tried. This one's definitely way better though than the vanilla. Um, they're both really creamy, but this one tastes better. Um, for me though, generally, I don't like heaps of, st I'm not like, I don't even put sugar or, or sweetener or whatever in my coffee. Um, so while it tastes nice, it's not something I would have all the time for sure, but that's what I'm having today. So just coffee. Um, and uh, I generally don't eat for the rest of the day. Um, so my fasting schedule, I usually tend to eat my main sort of meal around dinner time. Um, and then I might have like a smaller meal after that, or I might have a small meal before that. Um, it just depends on how I feel basically. So I like to listen to my appetite and my body as much as possible um, and sort of take it from there. So we'll see you again at the next meal. Okay, so we're back. This time Caleb's with me, he's home from school now um, to keep doing the day of eating. So it's just after four o'clock now. Um, I've started to feel a little bit hungry. I think I was feeling insanely full because of that um, coffee creamer that I put in the coffee um, because I did feel quite full all day. It had MCT oil in it, so that's probably why. Um, by the way, I will drop a link for that if, if anyone's interested in having a look or buying it. Um, so, Caleb, what did you have for recess and lunch today? Okay, I had yogurt for recess and yeah. burger patties for lunch. And do you want to get the yogurt and the burger patties so they can see like what they look like? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're just going to grab that so you can see like sort of serving mm -hmm. size and that kind of thing. Um, I've just made for myself, I've just heated up. These are some cheese Kranskis. I had a lot of people asking me what are Kranskis. Um, it's kind of like, I'm told it's kind of like kielbasa, but it's sort of like a cross between a sausage and a hot dog, if that makes sense. And the cheese ones have cheese through them so that when you, they're warm, they get all melty and nice. But these are just from Aldi and they've got surprisingly good ingredients. Um, and 
I'm just going to put a little bit of a Bear Brewing mustard kraut on them. This is really good with these Kranskis or if you're having like uh, any good quality type hot dog or sausage. Um, I'll drop a link where you can get this as well. So he's got the yogurt. Do you want to show them? Did you get the hamburger thing? Oh, then we're going to be right back. <laughs> so this is the yogurt. This is from Audi as well and it's a two kilo tub. He goes through at least one of these a week, at least. Sometimes two in a week. Um, so quite a lot. And he takes this in a container about that size form for recess. And these and are one these are one of my burger patties. I think it's yeah, pretty so, good and they were made from the ingredients for my mummy. Yeah, so these burger patties are homemade. It's just mince, eggs, salt and pepper. Um, I do put a bit of olive oil in there because it kind of gives it more of a taste like um, sort of like a, a hamburger patty from Macca's or something like that. But yeah, they're quite good. These were made in the air fryer actually. We were, do you want to put that back? We were going to do them on the barbecue and then it stopped. It ran out of gas. So we had to do everything on the stove and air fryer. But that's what he took for recess and lunch today. Um, I just had, like I said, the coffee with the creamer this morning and I'm going to have my Kranskis now and then we will see you again for dinner time which I'm sure he'll be asking for quite soon. You put it back? Yeah. You want to say bye until dinner time? Bye, see you in dinner time. Hey guys, so we're back for our day of eating dinner. So this is my first sort of like a real meal of the day I guess. I had those cheese Kranskis before but it was just two. It was like a little snack basically. So what have you got Kayla? A beef stroganoff. Do you want to tilt it? Oh, do you want to tilt it so that they can see? I don't know if you can see that. That's our beef stroganoff recipe which is on the website. Lowcarbnicky.com. You can find that under beef strong. You want to start eating it, don't you? Yes. All right, go eat it. <laughs> you can find it under beef stroganoff at lowcarbnicky.com. Like I said, um, I've got a, what's known as a yakudon. It's a Japanese chicken and egg bowl. Usually, obviously, it's on a bed of rice. I don't know if you can see, but I've done collier rice. Usually I don't, well I mean, I used to do collier rice a lot, now I don't hardly ever do it at all because I don't miss rice at all and it's a bit of a bother to do it really. Um, I tend to, if it's a curry or a stir fry, I tend to just add extra meat and veg in rather than going to the trouble of doing cauliflower rice. Um, but for something like this, uh, I felt like just the chicken and egg part I mean, that would have been fine, but yeah, I just felt like doing the collie. Plus, I had a bag left in the freezer. From, I tend to batch make a bunch of it. So, yeah, there's my chicken and egg bowl. It tastes really, really good. Um, it does use tamari soy sauce, which some people are against, but you can just use coconut aminos instead. The recipe for this is on the website as well. Lowcarbnicky.com um, but it's under chicken and egg bowl, I'm pretty sure it's called. I definitely didn't use oyakudon because a lot of people aren't going to know what that is. So yeah, chicken and egg bowl. Um, and the recipe for the cauliflower rice is on the website as well, under cauliflower rice. So that's basically our full day of eating. Um, after we got off the camera, when Caleb got home, um, he did actually have some... Uh, homemade passata, some uh, pasta sauce, I guess. Um, that's on the website as well, uh, under homemade passata. I had just made a batch which I intended to use for other recipes during the week and he found it and, and sort of <laughs> snuck some of it. So he did have some of that as well as what he's having now. So, I mean, I think it's good for people to see what kids are eating on keto that it's not restrictive in the way it is for adults. I mean obviously I've had very little to eat today and even with this bowl 
it's still going to be not a huge amount, but I'm trying to lose weight. I have plenty of fat on my body to burn and I'm not growing anymore. Whereas with kids, I mean, he's not overweight and he's still growing. So he needs his energy. He needs his food. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to restrict portions like to a great extent. Um, the only thing I'm restricting is huge carbohydrates, really sugary, refined, processed foods, that sort of thing. Um, so I hope that answers some questions for people that may be, I know a lot of people think keto is not suitable for kids, but personally I think if you think a diet is not healthy for your children to be doing, then you probably shouldn't be doing it either. Um, if you think it's not a healthy diet, then I don't understand why you're, you're doing it either. Um, I would never do a diet that I didn't consider to be a healthy diet, although I do know some people just really want to lose the weight and they might think it's not quite so healthy, but you can lose weight on it, so I'll do it. And then maybe that's why they think it's not suitable for kids. But if you're looking at it from a health aspect, it certainly is a healthy way to eat and it's really good for kids. It's helped Caleb a lot with um, behavioral problems and things like that. So yeah, and nothing he's eating is anything weird or, and he doesn't eat really subs the way I do. So he doesn't eat like baking and things like that. He just eats like proper food really. He eats better than I do. So yeah, that's our day of eating guys. Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment or contact via the website, the Facebook page, the Facebook group, um, the Facebook page, Low Carb Nikki, Facebook group, Low Carb Nikki recipe and support group, the website, lowcarbnikki.com. The links for the recipes I will drop and um, for those products as well, if anyone's interested in grabbing those. And yeah, we'll try and do a day of eating on a weekend when Caleb's actually home because yeah, most of the day when he's at school, um, he can say what he had, but yeah, you're not going to see it. And we eat a little bit different. I think everyone eats a little bit differently on the weekend as well. So yeah. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Bye.